Hello, my name is Akesh Gupta and I'm from Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation, I will present to you how to implement filter drop-down list contents using RSP Designer and the Formula Editor. To begin with, let's look at some of the data that we are working with. We have a make model year example and we have an automobiles. When we are trying to add an automobile record, we are displaying all the makes. And as you can see in the make table, we have a field which is going to tell us whether the make is active or inactive. What we would like to implement is that while adding a new automobile, we should only display the makes which are active. If you go and visit RNSP Designer, which is a standard application, if you look at the Add Auto page, we have a make ID and by default, as you can see, it is selecting all the records from the make ordered by make ascending sequence. In order, for, in order for us to implement filtering this drop-down list box, we have to implement a, a query. In this case, we can add an additional where clause where we can say the data for this drop-down list should come from the make table. And we would like to filter it by the field is active is equal to. And in this case, we can easily enter a formula. In our case, since we have a SQL database, the two possible values are 0 and 1. 0 means false, 1 means uh, true, which means is active is true. So I can implement is equal to 1. Just by implementing such simple thing using the powerful formula editor, let's see what difference does it make to our drop-down list. Of course, we want to build the application, go back to our makes, and just for the sake of making a change, let's go and make Toyota and Ford as inactive. Just trying to reload the page here. All right, page is loaded. We can edit the Toyota. We can mark it as not inactive, not active, which means it is inactive. And as you can see, both Toyota and Ford are inactive. Now, when I go to my automobile page and I try to add a new automobile and I click on make, it is only showing me the data which is active. As you noticed, just by implementing a very simple where clause where we are implementing with a formula editor a condition I can easily limit the number of records or I can easily show the records which I wish to show in the drop down list box. Hopefully this example demonstrated how easy it was for filtering the drop down list contents. Thanks for watching.